I'm ready. Wow, wow! It's following me so well. I can't believe how well this works. Now, again, I am not paying attention to it at all, and it's totally working. Skydio's R1 is a fully autonomous drone, as in it's a drone that flies itself. It doesn't come with a controller. Instead, it uses 13 total cameras, all sorts of computer vision and AI to visualize and map its surroundings in real time, and will do everything in its power not to crash. I've been testing the Skydio R1 for a couple of weeks, and I have not been able to crash this thing. I am really impressed with it so far. Let's get into it. The R1 is Skydio's first product, but you probably haven't heard of Skydio because the company has been operating in stealth for its entire existence. I actually had the chance to sit down with Adam Bree, the company's CEO, and he told me how this thing came to be and how it all works. We've been working on this thing for the last four years. It's really a first of its kind device. It's built for autonomy from the ground up. And really the big idea with this product is we wanna make something that's intelligent enough to fly itself so you don't have to pay attention to it at all, and it can capture amazing video of you doing your favorite stuff. Uh, so Skydio is about four years old. Mm -hmm. um, so the three co-founders, myself, Abe, and Matt, uh, started about four years ago. But I would say the technology and the idea really precedes that. So Abe and I met as grad students at MIT starting in 2009. Uh, he was actually there in 2007, um, where our lab was one of the first in the world to develop autonomous flying systems that use lasers and cameras stuff like this to, to fly around autonomously. Um, even before that, like I grew up flying RC airplanes, so I've been building small things that fly since I was five years old. It has 13 cameras on it, so there's eight cameras around the perimeter um, that are held in place by this carbon fiber structure, which is super light, super stiff, uh, and also provides a measure of safety when you're flying around people. And then there's a pair of cameras on top, and then a pair of cameras on bottom, uh, and then also the user video camera. So there's 13 cameras total, um, which gives every direction. Yeah, sees in every direction. So that's sort of the starting point. If you want the thing to be able to move freely in the environment, it needs to be able to see in every direction so that you can trust that it's not going to run into something. It uses an NVIDIA TX1 processor, um, which is a super powerful CPU GPU combo, um, which is, is really built for AI processing. Um, it's the same thing that's found in a lot of self driving cars. So just from a hardware standpoint, we've done a lot to try to get to a fully autonomous system, but the real magic of this device is in the software. Um, and we've written the complete software stack from the low level controls, all the computer vision processing, the motion planning, the decision making, um, and then also the mobile app, the way that you control it from your phone. All of that has been designed with autonomy in mind. So the R1 is fully autonomous, but there is a smartphone app for iOS and Android that you use to take off, land, change flying modes, and if you want, control the drone with virtual thumbsticks. In order to make the drone fly, you pair it to your phone over Wi-Fi, jump back in the app, wait for it to calibrate and do its pre-flight checks, and then you slide up to take off. It's dead simple. You can initiate a takeoff from either your hand or the ground, and you can even catch the R1 while it's landing. That's how you do it. There are eight flying modes programmed into the R1's app, all of them with insanely precise tracking built right in. Orbit, which makes the R1 orbit around you. Follow, the R1 will stay behind you. Lead, the R1 will stay in front of you. Side, the drone will keep to your side. Tripod mode makes it as if the R1 is on a tripod. Stadium, think of a camera on a wire at a football game. Smooth, the R1 just moves more slowly. And then joysticks is Skydio's take on sort of manually controlling the drone. But keep in mind the autonomy here. Once the drone is in the air, it doesn't matter what mode you're in. This thing will not crash. The R1 records video at 1080 in either 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, and at 4K, but only at 30 frames per second. No option for 24 in either resolution, and no manual controls for recording video. But those are features that Skydio can easily add via an over-the-air software update. 
You can use the app to review your footage and then quickly clip and share, but I much prefer to plug into the USB-C port to access my files directly from the 64 gigabytes of internal storage. One of my favorite things about the R1 is how it handles video capture. It automatically starts recording when you take off and automatically stops recording when you land. I cannot tell you how many times I forgot to hit start on my camera when recording a YouTube video. I'd say the footage off the R1 is sharp, crispy, and super stable. But again, no manual controls like adjusting the white balance or exposure. But in terms of quality, I think the R1 is comparable to its competitors. The cinematics will be determined by you. How high or low you have the R1 set to follow you, what mode it's in, etc. And if you're wondering about audio capture, the R1's app will record audio files using your phone, and the files line up perfectly for editing. It's great. Boom, got me automatically. The R1 has a flight time of 16 minutes per battery, and yeah, that's short. But you do get two batteries in the box, and they are reversible, and the swapping mechanism is idiot proof. In terms of build quality and size, Adam mentioned that the drone has a carbon fiber body. The housing of all the internal components is aluminum. The drone itself is relatively light. With a battery, the R1 comes in at 2.4 pounds, and the battery weighs 0.8 pounds. However, the R1 does not fold. It's similar in size to a 15-inch laptop, and it definitely fits inside a backpack. I'll say this, the R1 really impressed me. It's super smart. No matter what mode I was in, the drone followed me continuously and never crashed, not once. I was only able to lose the drone once in my testing, and that's because water got on the user camera. It's hard to explain the feeling I got when the R1 was following me. It's a really strange sensation to have such a smart and capable flying machine capturing you without the need to pilot or even pay attention in the slightest. The Skydio R1 is not perfect though. The company doesn't recommend flying over bodies of water more than 30 feet across. They also say that the drone could have trouble seeing thin tree branches. One big caveat to note as well, it even says this on their website, the R1 only avoids static objects. Cars, balls, animals, other drones, and similar moving objects will not be avoided if they're moving faster than walking speed. You can fly the R1 indoors, but it does not like these types of small environments. And no, the R1 will not follow you through doorways. At least not yet. The Skydio R1 is not built to capture cityscapes from hundreds of feet in the air. It's got a top speed of 25 miles an hour and can only go up 60 feet in the air. If you're gonna spend $2,500 on the R1, know that you're paying for the smartest drone on the market. One that will effectively never crash and one that will do everything it possibly can to follow you while capturing you in super stable 4K, whether you're biking, skateboarding, playing a sport, or sprinting. That's the promise Skydio is making, and that's the $70 million funding bet from the likes of Andreessen Hurwitz, NVIDIA, Kevin Durant, and Justin Timberlake are all making. The Skydio R1 is a fully autonomous drone that has one job, do not crash, and it's damn good at its job.